On this episode of China Uncensored, dog, it's what's for dinner. Welcome to China Uncensored. Once again, I have a viewer submitted story. This one comes from a Chinese citizen near Beijing. For security reasons, I always keep people's names and identifying details secret. So this person is a dog lover. Not like that. She said that one day she found a dog tied up in a sack by the side of a road, apparently abandoned by its owner because it was pretty sick. She took the dog to the vet, nursed it back to health, and decided to keep it. Now it's her cute, fat little pet doggy. Thing is, she started to notice that now people have been eyeing her dog, kind of like the way people eye a fat turkey. Now, as I'm sure you may have heard, some people in China eat dogs and cats. A lot of people are really against it, though. Last year, someone spotted a truck in Yulin, a city in Guangxi, with cages stacked upon cages of dogs. He coordinated hundreds of people using Weibo to blockade the truck at the next toll station before it reached its destination, a food processing plant. In all, over 500 dogs had been crammed into only about 150 cages, many of them so sick they died anyway, and many still had their collars on because they were stolen pets. So this lady said that one day, when she discovered that her fat little doggy was missing, well, it's not too hard to guess what conclusion she jumped to, especially when there are pictures like this flying around Weibo. That dog's not going anywhere he wants to be. Okay, so let's play the devil's advocate for a moment. You might be saying, what's the difference between eating a dog or a cat versus eating any other animal? I mean, researchers even say your typical pig is smarter than your typical dog, and most people don't have a moral revulsion to a Baconator. Well, one, it's because a lot of the dogs and cats you'll eat in China are stolen pets, and two, it's because of the cruelty these dogs and cats go through. Suffering makes them taste better. That's the idea behind one dish in Guangzhou called Boiled Alive Cat. Guess what the main ingredient is? The website China Smack did an interview with one of the cooks who describes the process. You see, you can't beat the cat completely to death. Otherwise, it's not boiled alive, obviously. But the suffering does make it taste better. The beating ensures blood flow to the flesh, making the meat taste great. That's just so not okay. But more and more, the attitude towards dog meat in China is changing. So let's go back to Yulin, where they host an annual lychee dog meat festival. Every year, animal rights activists say that 10,000 dogs are served up in hot pots alongside lychee fruit and grain alcohol during the festival. Now, some residents say it's an ancient tradition welcoming the summer solstice. It gives a new meaning to walk the dog. Every year, activists attempt to shut down the festival, but they've never been successful. This year, about 20 activists bought 400 dogs for 100,000 yuan, or about 16,000 USD, and took them to shelters, but some were so sick they died anyway. But I don't want to leave you guys on such a downer. There is some good news at the end of this story. The woman at the beginning that lost her dog, she ultimately did find him again, all in one piece as well. So what do you guys think? Would you ever eat dog? And do you think it should be allowed in China? Comment below, and if you want more China Uncensored, you can follow me on Twitter or like China Uncensored on Facebook. Subscribe for more China Uncensored. I'll be back tomorrow with another brand new episode. Thanks for watching. See you then.